In the following video, we're going to talk about one of the best variations and potentially a substitution for the squat uh, as an exercise. Now, the conventional squat is a very popular exercise and everyone tends to do it, but not everyone has the hip mobility to essentially go down into a clean squat. What happens most of the time is that people tend to arch their backs too much because they don't really have the movement coming from the hip joints. If you are one of these people, then you must essentially look at substitution exercises uh, and when it comes to substitution or even exercises that are actually better, there is none better than the actual Bulgarian split squat exercise. I've already gone over some of the common errors of the Bulgarian split squat as an exercise in previous videos, but I'm just going to quickly remind you of what those are. So basically, uh, this is what it looks like as an exercise. Obviously, you want to make sure that you're not too far away from the bench or whatever you using to do the split squat because if you are then you'll be stretching your hip flexors too much you don't really want to do that so I tend to just come a bit closer in I make sure that my toes are pointing straight forward because if they're not then my knee is going to collapse inwards which is something I don't really want so when I go down sometimes this happens and the knee essentially there's a lot of pressure onto the medial ligaments here which is something that I don't really want okay so the best thing to do is make sure that there's a straight line ahead the knee is pointing straight forward as well and now from here, making sure that you've got a straight line with your chest as well, you go straight down into a downwards angle. So you don't really want to push forward, because if you push forward, the heel comes off the floor, which is uh, obviously a bad thing as well, because if you do that, you put, first of all, a lot of pressure on your quads, you take the pressure off your glutes, uh, and then it turns into a completely different exercise. Okay, so looking from this angle, again, as you can see, I make sure that my knee is straight forward as I come down into that split squat uh, movement. My hips are pointing straight forward and my chest are pointing straight forward. Sometimes when you've got imbalances in your body, you tend to twist to one side because your upper body is trying to compensate for the lack of stability in your knee, your ankle, your foot, and the overall the entire chain here. In order to make the split squat a bit more interesting, I'm going to use a band and the band is going to apply that external tension. So you know me, I love my bands when I'm doing exercises, but here you're going to really feel the benefits. Okay, so first of all, make sure you're stable there. And then as you go down, you're going to really feel how the band pulling that knee out. So all, what you need to do basically, don't let it pull you out too much but make sure that you've got your adductors firing so that you can really maintain that stable position and then come back up, okay? One more thing that you need to remember here is that don't lock your knee. People tend to lock their knees when they come off a deadlift or a squat or a split squat, and that's, that's just not really good for the knees in general, okay? So make sure there's like a, a little nice bounce there, right? And again, come down. As you can see now from the band, the band's above the kneecap. So what you can do is well, you can apply it underneath the kneecap, okay? So that's going to create even more tension for the groin of the adductors. So I'm working really hard here to stabilize my leg and I come back up. And again, even here, there's tension coming from the band and that's making the exercise a lot more difficult. What's gonna make this even tougher is positioning the band so that it's essentially applying that internal tension because now it's going to be a lot more difficult for me to stabilize my leg, having that tension pulling me toward the outside. So again, get into my position and as I come down, there's so much tension coming here. And what I want to do, I want to use my glutes, my TFL, to push that knee out into that central position. And then I've got a lot more stability. So if you've got any knee issues, ligament problems that you had in the past, obviously this is a more advanced exercise. You wanna make sure that you are implementing this exercise into your routine because it's gonna make things a lot more challenging. Uh, and it's really gonna challenge your glutes, your adductors, your knee joints overall. And again, playing around with the band position, I've got the barbell and the band combined. So to be honest with you, like from this point onwards, it all depends on your imagination and your creativity when it comes to exercises, because you can really push yourself using the different types of resistances. So like I said, I've got the barbell on my shoulders, but well, I've also got the band pulling me out, which is amazing. And then of course, change the position of the band, which is gonna make things even more difficult. So come down, I've got that weight here and I've got the resistance there. So what more can you want when you're looking at exercises that challenge both strength, stability, proprioception, and everything that you need basically. So this is gonna make you a better athlete. If you know an athlete, it's just gonna make you a better human being overall.